Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Commodities Broker here with RJO Futures on uh, February 1st, uh, bringing you some commentary here in the energy markets. And before I get started here, what I want to do here is uh, once again extend this offer out to you guys uh, and, and gals here. If you're interested here, we've got this great uh, uh, piece here. It's a 2013 uh, Hightower Commodity Trading Guide. It's over 50 pages, packed with a lot of information. Uh, uh, you know, it covers all the major traded markets, gives some historical uh, perspective as well as some price projections here for the coming future. It's got all contract uh, uh, specifications in there, last trade dates for options, futures, just a wealth of information. So give me a call, shoot me an email. I can send this out to you here, regular email. I have it in PDF file here, so I can email it to you here pretty quickly. But certainly if you're, if you're in these markets, you're thinking about getting in these markets, this is an excellent resource to have available. So give me a call. Uh, let's move on here. Let's talk about the energies. What do we got uh, going on here? Well, we've got crude here prices uh, selling off here. So uh, pretty excited about that, as many of you know, in several of these posts here, we've been kind of targeting here uh, that downside action here in these last couple of sessions. We're seeing a little bit of a lower lows and uh, lower highs here. Right now, we've got the uh, uh, crude oil uh, prices here off about 50 cents here, roughly trading about 97 a barrel. Uh, we've been down though here already to 96.51, so getting a nice pullback in there. Uh, what's interesting to note though is that the we've actually got the Brent up here a little bit. Brent's around 116.31. Uh, we're up about 76 cents. Give me a call. You want to talk about that Brent WTI spread. I've mentioned that in prior posts here. There's been very heavy uh, spread trading in those two contracts here. And I'd like to give you a little bit more insight, explain to you how you can potentially take advantage of that. Uh, taking a look at Nat Gas here, we're a little firmer there. We're up about two to three cents, uh, trading around 336. Uh, we've got Arbob basically about unchanged uh, right now around 30, uh, 303.20. And uh, we've got the heat up about two and a half cents at around uh, 314.38. So what do we have going? on here? What's kind of moving oil prices here today? Well, you know, let's take a look here. You know, something we've talked a lot about is obviously the supply side. I've covered that in some of the previous posts here. So, uh, you know, I think you've got, you know, ample supplies right now. And you look at the, the, the some of the economic data that's been coming out here, not only here in the States here, uh, for example, we got, you know, you know, taking a look at the big uh, unemployment report here, you know, the monthly report came out this morning, seeing an uptick there in the rate. Uh, you look at, you know, GDP numbers we had, you look overseas here, you look at some of the Chinese data there, a little bit better, some of the European data a little bit better, but then you get some of the data out that's not that great. So we continually, you know, we get positive and, and negative uh, data out there, but it, you know, it, it's really a mixed bag in my opinion. So I think, you know, what you want to then shift to is taking a look at these technicals and something I've mentioned, I mean, take a look at the charts. If you're not very familiar with technical indicators, you know, give me a call and, and I can explain them to you here a little bit, but these short-term technical indicators are in very overbought territory. We're finally starting to see them turn. Uh, you know, my opinion, we're getting some great sell signals in there and the market's starting to break. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's all downhill from here. I think as traders, you got to be cautious in there, uh, as I've mentioned in other posts as well. But I do think that there is, you know, uh, we're going to see this market start to pull back here a little bit. I'm targeting around that 92.50 area. That's a 200-day moving average. Give me a call, shoot me an email. We could talk about how you could potentially position yourself there if you want to go the futures route or if you're trading the options route. Uh, but, you know, risk management is, is, is key to being successful in any type of speculative investment. So I think that's something that, you know, traders need to focus on. So give me a call, shoot me an email, we can get into more detail. Uh, and of course, remember that, you know, futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.